in Korea. Oh, Dave, nice. good to have you on with us today. Rob says, Scoot's branding colors in yellow and black often remind me of Bruce Lee's epic jumpsuit in his last film, Game of Death. It really does. <laughs> it also reminds me of Kill Bill. It's the same colors, <laughs> yeah. Uma Thurman, which of course was inspired by Bruce Lee. Yeah, right. I just see Kill Bill. I just see <laughs> Uma Thurman. That was a great movie, and, and great Kill movie. Bill 2 was as well. Great movie. Uh, Neil is the SG Radio Industry Chat uh, Rede, Rede Night Conversation with Dan. Friday night. Friday, oh, Friday night. night. Sorry. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, and the rest of us, you've tried, survived, and thrived. Well done. Well, well thank you. you. go. That'll do. Thank there you go. very much. Very kind. All very right. kind indeed. Well, we're happy that all of you have been with us uh, today online and on our audio app, on Facebook Live, on YouTube Live, on LinkedIn. LinkedIn. Wow. We're everywhere. We're, we're like we're like the Singapore rain, man. We are worldwide, <laughs> global, <laughs> everywhere. Oh, uh, anyway, let's um let's get into another story right now that unfortunately with weather like today might not be possible, but we will talk about it just the same. Singapore homebrew on Money FM 89.3. A new collaboration between Singapore Sidecars and the Arts House is going to give a heritage tour of the Civic District during the March school holidays. Joining us now to talk about it, Simon Wong, the co-founder of Singapore Sidecars. Hi, Simon. Welcome. All right, Glenn. How's it going? Hi, Neil. It's, How are you doing, guys? It's going well, thanks. Where, where are you? It's noisy. I, I, it is noisy. I'm actually outside the Arts House. Um, weekends uh, there's a school thing going on they don't know they're all live on uh, on the box now they have no idea but some of them have heard <laughs> the voices and they're turning around and there's a sidecar right at the front the rain situation here is not too shabby it hasn't actually been chucking it down that much at this oh, part of town and uh, it, under these sort of circumstances the tours would continue you just chuck on a poncho and and just carry nice. on um, and these tours are uh, a special collaboration with the Arts House, especially for the school, pe uh, school holidays period. So it's uh, next weekend and the weekend after. Um, and you can get the tickets from singaporesidecars.ptix.com for only $20, which is absolutely a complete steal. <laughs> it is, Simon. You've done the spiel. Very good. All right. Wait, who's, stealing, who's stealing from who in this scenario? <laughs> <laughs> We're getting Rob Blind here. We're getting Rob Blind. Oh, that, okay, you you're being you stolen You can't from. get a guy to start work for 20 bucks. <laughs> so tell so, us about it, Simon. How did you bring to, it together? Yes. Yeah, how did you it's bring the two together? <laughs> yes, absolutely, yes. I mean, Heritage and the Civic District, It's you know, that's a thing. Uh, sidecars became a thing when we found out that Singapore had a Vespa factory in Jurong in 1965. Gokeng Sui was there opening the Vespa factory in April 1965. You can go to the National Archives, see all the black and white photos there, and you will recognize some of the models pouring off the production lines in Jurong are the same, oh. the very models that the kids oh. and the families will be taking during those tours. We oh, have fun. a mixture of the, the Made in Singapore Heritage uh, editions of the scooter, but also um, some modern ones. You actually, I'm going to try and uh, just cut through cut through the crowd here and take you over to one of the ones we have parked outside. It's, it's heaving today, and I hope it's heaving next week as well during the holidays. But there you go. That's, that's what, uh, yep. So, so Simon is showing us one yeah. of his sidecars. Tell us a little a bit red, about this bright one. bright red Vespa with a sidecar attached to it. It looks gorgeous. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. And there's, you won't meet a single person that doesn't look at a sidecar and just start beaming from ear to ear. It's one of those things that just makes you smile. So great for kids and families. Um, what else do you need to know? Well, well what are they going you? to see? How is, the, how is the tour going to yes. work? What is, so, what is so special about this tour, this we, heritage tour? We've curated a tour that links together the key locations around the Civic District. So in this $20 for 20 minutes tour, uh, which is an absolute steal, you get to see. You said, I've heard that. I've heard said, that song right? before. <laughs> so you get a you get a really really nice ride around the Padang, past the National Gallery, on that nice long straight that forms part of the F1 circuit as well. You go mm -hmm. all the way around back up Esplanade Bridge, so you get a good view back over the the Civic District from um, you know at, at some sort of reasonable speed. Um, you're on the other side of Anderson Bridge and the Fullerton Building, and of course all these are historic parts of this area. And then you finally end up back a part where you normally couldn't drive down, but sidecars have special permission to bring uh, guests around 
to hmm. the sides of the Victoria Theatre and around the front of the ACM, the Asian Civilizations Museum. And wow. of course, you will see Raffles' uh, statue there at the front of Victoria Theatre. At the side of the Asian Civilizations Museum, I'd love to highlight, there is a, uh, a memorial bench. Uh, this is actually to my late wife, to my late wife who inspired hmm. the hmm. social enterprise work that uh, Singapore Sidecars does. So we, we're involved with a lot of fundraising and supporting of causes. Um, there is a memorial bench uh, on the left side of the lobby. So if you look out for that, you can't miss it. It's a Piranacan-inspired yeah. bench. It's all the crazy nice. Piranacan colors. Um, and that's, that's the uh, bench that's made from 150-year-old floorboards from the galleries of Empress Place. So you're wow. sitting on a piece of history itself if you do actually go there and plonk your bum on it. What a great memorial to your wife, uh, Simon. And we're speaking with Simon Wong, the co-founder of Singapore Sidecars, talking about a new uh, collaboration with the Arts House to give tours. I'm told that it's uh, $20 for 20 minutes. Is it? He never mentioned. He never <laughs> he, mentioned. He really that. needs to get better about mentioning some of the facts. Uh, and somebody's getting robbed, but I'm not sure who. But anyway, um, but uh, around the... Pizza. Exactly. So the his... dot .com. That's where you find them. Well, there you go. But the tour to go around the uh, historic district. Uh, Simon, how does this tour around the historic district vary from the other tours that you do with Singapore Sidecars? You, you started this yes. uh, and, and famously really grew it during the pandemic when people couldn't really do much else and, and they were kept socially distant and things like that. Yeah. But how does this current tour differ from some of the other tours that you've had? Yeah, this one has a special permission um, uh, uh, from the Arts House to actually allow the sidecars to to meander around through and between all the old heritage buildings. And that's that's not something that, that you normally get to do. So you're going to get a very, very special view uh, of those buildings. And the interesting thing is, as you're meandering around in this little pod, uh, something about it doesn't have a roof. You know, it's, it's not like you're driving around in a car, but it gets you looking up and around and you start to notice little details about the buildings and um, about about your surroundings a lot more. So somehow it, it, it just um, visually just grabs you a, a lot more. Mm. I think it's, it's a lot more um, immersive sensorially, I think, as well. Yeah. Simon, yeah. Uh, some may not know, some will know that, of course, your Singapore sidecars started firstly as a hobby, but also as a social enterprise, didn't it? You started this thing off to do charity rides, and you're, you're doing one soon, I believe. Is that correct? That's right. Um, we have um, a ride this evening at 7 p.m. Um, we're supporting the uh, Rare Diseases Society of Singapore. Um, we've been um, running charity rides for them throughout this week, and I think the final one might be this evening. Um, you, you'd have to check Clute for that one. So if you type mm -hmm. in Singapore Sidecars and then Rare Diseases Society, RDS, RDSS all right, of Singapore. Um, so. Beneficiaries get to, to ride for free, um, um, but the, the public will get discounted rides to join them, uh, and a chunk of the proceeds obviously goes to support RDSS. Since you've been doing this, uh, these um, tours over the years, Simon, have you noticed that people are more interested in Vespas? Are, are more people buying them now or importing um, them? And has, has the community grown in Singapore? Has it stayed about the yes, same? Yes, right. Oh, you know what's really interesting about that? That's a, that's a really good question, because you start noticing um, sidecars appearing in all sorts of commercials and, and um, TVCs. So uh, one of the banks now has a, a huge campaign with a sidecar, you know, a bloke sitting in a sidecar driving around. Um, there were a, a few other campaigns where we saw sidecars. I think a fast food chain, at least two fast food chains may have had sidecars in their commercials. I think we, we mm. might have had something to do with that. I'd like to think that people have started thinking Singapore and then thinking, hey, what about a sidecar? Uh, another mm. instance where a sidecar made its way, well, two instances where sidecars have made their way into, into some visible places that, that, um, that are linked to our heritage. So the National Day sticker pack that was given out uh, the last mm. National Day before the pandemic. All right, so it's a little sticker pack. It's got, uh, it's got the Singapore girl in there it's got chili crab shop houses there's a sidecar sticker in there in the national day sticker pack right that's the sort of um, impact we wanted to make that's the sort of impression we wanted to make a lot of these vehicles are of course made in singapore they did pour out of the factory in jurong 1965 onwards and somehow we've we didn't know this history by the way and then we repurposed them and they are a part of our heritage and if they could talk they would have some amazing stories to tell mm. they went into service with the police force 
uh, Postal mm. Service, and finally they kind of um, rebirth themselves into giving tours, heritage tours. Mm. Well, you started off yourself and a friend with a couple of sidecars. How big is your fleet now, Simon, and what's the next step for Singapore sidecars? We have, uh, we're able to take about 120 guests in rotation over the course of about half a day. Uh, but we, we go in rotation on a fleet of about 28 sidecars. Um, it's, it's definitely back to uh, growing again uh, since tourists are gradually trickling back in. I think the next big thing is uh, Sidecar Grand Prix. And that's a plan that we put on hold before the pandemic. It's very hard getting sponsors to sponsor a, uh, a race that nobody's flying in to watch. But of course, now Grand Prix is back on. Tourists are back in. And um, that's the next big thing to watch out for. And as usual, we will, of course, um, send a big chunk of the proceeds of that to support good causes. Uh, Simon, it's a fantastic uh, effort that you're uh, involved in. Uh, p ticks is one way they can get the tickets. How, how should people get more information, get tickets, get signed up for this? Um, so singaporesidecars.ptix.com is one way to get the tickets. Um, actually, it's the only way to get these uh, $20 tickets that are going really fast now that people have heard about it on air. For 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. For 20 minutes, yeah. Uh, you can also go to singaporesidecars.sg and you'll get yeah. information about the other tours as well. Simon, it's a pleasure to have you on with us again, and uh, been Thank too you, long, uh, and we wish you great luck with this and, and future Thank endeavors, you. and hope we'll see you out on the streets. I, I still haven't gotten my family out under the sidecar, so we're going we're gonna to jump yeah. on them one of these days. See you next weekend. Sounds good. All Take the best, care. Simon. Take care. <laughs> Take care. Bye. Okay. <laughs> All right. How fun to have.